Welcome back to my channel. I'm Becky and this is Tom. Hi, good to be back. Um, and today we're going to be unboxing and trying some um, goodies from Australia. So it was my birthday recently, um, July the 4th, and my best friend Kristen kindly sent over a beautiful hamper full of Aussie goodies. So let's dig in. Thanks Kristen. Also hi Lisa. Um, so the first thing is something we actually have in the UK, which is a crunchy bar. Classic. If you, I don't know if they have crunchy everywhere, but if you don't know, it's just chocolate and honeycomb. I was looking to see if they had it written now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, milk chocolate with golden honeycomb centre. So yeah, it's milk, not dark. All Brits are well aware of this. Probably Childhood quite like staple. it. Yeah. Wait, I should hold it on. Right, if you don't know what crunchy looks like. It's delicious. Can't go wrong with crunchy. We do now have ten. Anyway, eight. I was trying to clear my mouth. Um oh, I'm, not, I'm not about to give it a mark out of ten. I think ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. There you go. Yeah, the crunchy lives up to its name. It's crunchy. Uh, most of it is honeycomb, but that's that's delicious in my book. So, yeah. another non-food item quickly is a tea towel with a koala cooking on a barbie. What does it say? Good day, mate. Good day, mate. So that's the end. Hopefully, of our terrible Australian accents. Um, you can rate it below if you want. Oh. And um, he's got a koala beer. KB. It actually says koala beer. Um, assuming that's what's under the fingers. So be... And notice there is no shrimp on the barbie. There is only steak and sausage. No surf and surf today. Which is funny because koalas only eat eucalyptus. So they're like vegans. But we'll ignore that. Maybe they don't drink. What do you want to well. start with? Straight in. Arnox, Arnott's mint slice. Help with the clover. Looks good to me. They look like, um, you know, the Viscount. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. I'm trying to be Thank clear. You. you can see the chocolate disc. It looks like milk chocolate rather than dark white. Right? Have they got something called a health star rating? 0.5. <laughs> Minimal. That's hilarious. I can't believe they do health stars. Unhealthy as. You can start eating if you want. I just wanted to see what oh, there is, the description. Wow, so it's baking for 150 years. So this is a really old company. We Pretty do much. not. We don't exactly have, a bike, kind of. Yeah, we don't have this in this country, but yeah. Oh, by count some mint. Yeah. I can't remember. I haven't had by count for God knows. I mean, you years. might get different ones, but mint is the one that comes to mind for me and that I've had. And I like those. I like these. Can't tell them between them. Seven out of ten. I'm gonna give a six out of ten because I'm not a huge mint and chocolate fan. Weirdly. It's my problem. Can be mint. Can be overpowering. I don't think it is here. Yeah. So it's good product. Chocolate biscuit, it's um, yeah, it's good. What about yeah. his text? Read it. Mm -hmm. Crunchy biscuits, velvety mint cream, and Arnott's real chocolate. Made from the finest cocoa ingredients and natural milk products. Carefully combined to create your perfect indulgence. So, um, I guess it's going to be milk chocolate rather than dark, because it didn't say specifically dark. It doesn't taste like dark chocolate, does it? Not particularly. Oh, this is made of pure mint <clears throat> mint oil. <laughs> I go through puberty again, apparently. <laughs> These are Aussie drops, eucalyptus, 
for me. Really eucalyptus, really handmade. Really, you know, I'll cut it out. It's hard to see, like the light is bouncing off it so much. Oh, there we go. I took it like that, there we go. Right. I'm sure it's fine. It was so bright. Like that will come, well not on payback, you'll see that it's bright. All right. Stuff together, kind of. I'll get two. <laughs> oh, it's hard. I thought it might be like gummies for some reason. Yeah, they looked like they would be but hard. I hard guess boiled. they're kind of like maybe pear drops. That's what I'm thinking of. Pear drops are hard, aren't they? Yes. I haven't had them for years and years as well. These are kind of minty, but it's not mint. I wouldn't say minty, it's herbally. Yeah, herbally. Um, maybe a bit slightly lemonish. Yeah, it seems a bit like a lemon sip. Yeah. So I give that 6 out of 10. Really? Yeah, it's quite pleasant. No, I'd give it a 4. I don't like it. Done that other one, you've been it. You've been up, sorry. Right. I really don't like that. I don't like it so much my accent changed. You picked the next one? I'm still with the right mouth, but maybe you can uh, talk through that. If you, I was going to say, if you want, you can just put it in here and then chew it later. This is jelly. We can't eat this right now, really. I'd rather just I finish it. it. Oh, that's a good one, actually. You picked one that we can't actually eat. Yeah, so, so I like aeroplane jelly. So the brand is aeroplane, just strawberry flavoured jelly. Um, You can't go wrong with jelly, really. Jelly is legit. Not vegan friendly. There we go. I was trying to wait for to see if it um what's it called it? Focused. Yeah, that's the word. I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, it's just got normal directions. So yeah, we call it jelly in Australia. Oh they call it jelly in Australia, we call it jelly in the UK, and Americans call it jello. Jello. That was a Don't worst. Worry, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> TV snacks, malt sticks, 0.5 health star rating. It's like a Kit Kat, really. Yeah. Um, Not Kit Kat, a, um, the obvious products. The, the fingers. fingers. Oh, fingers. Yeah, fingers. fingers. Yeah, it looks like Cadbury's fingers. Um, I thought that, you know, the um, eucalyptus sweets, I thought they would have like five star Australian health health star rating. So healthy. So yeah, the malt, it's chocolate and malt, I guess. Yeah, 50% milk up. chocolate. You like to say, even I'm hungry. That's what I'm here for. I'm the worst person to open stuff. Do you know, I was just thinking, oh my god, I'm sweating. But it's the, um, the chocolate oil on my back. It's just the, the eucalyptus and that, and then bowl making it feel, it kind of feels like I'm sweating. That's a nice bag of malt and chocolate fingers. Oh. So if you know what Cadbury's fingers taste like, would you say it's similar? Kind of no. So this is this is definitely different with the malt aspects. So the second one. Yeah, they look like fingers, but they do not taste like fingers. It doesn't actually taste sweet. So this malt is like what UK products have malts in this. The only malt that I can think of is super malt, which, uh, as far as I know, only Africans drink it. I don't know anyone it's else. It's definitely a flavour I've had, this malt flavour, but I'm not sure what product I'm thinking of. What would you give it out of 10? I like that. Um, but you I'll give like it a 7. Anything. Oh yeah, God. I'm not very fussy. I'll give that a 7. That's kind of cool. I like how different it is. Well done, Aussies. A lot of these are Arnots. Arnots. Oh yeah, that's Arnott's as well, yeah. Household name. Can you put another one? I'm thinking my thoughts about it. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's kind of a weird taste. Like, I'm just... I didn't know what to expect. And now I'm eating it. Kind of, yeah, I expected it to be a bit sweeter. But, like, malt... Um, like super malt isn't 
I think it's a little bit sweet. It's like slightly licorice-ish, you could say. Do you know what we have that's malt? It's malt biscuits. You know the plain yeah, ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they called? Malt something? They're just... Aren't they just called malt biscuits? Mini malt? I don't know, but yeah, those. That's that malt flavour. Yeah, I would give this, unfortunately, I think, a 3 out of 10. Well, lower it's than not... the eucalyptus. You won't even touch that. No, actually, I'll take that. Okay, swap the scores. Let's swap them around. So, whatever I said for the eucalyptus, was that like a four? Yes. All right, the, the malt, I give a four, and the eucalyptus a three. There you go, minimal. It's not that I hate it, I just, I know I wouldn't choose to eat it out of choice, really. Okay, next product, Arnott's Tiny Teddy Honey. Tiny Teddy Biscuits. Maybe you saw that. Nice cute little bag. I have a tiny teddy. Ah, nuts again, so. Yes. Yeah. They're just plain little teddies. No one's gonna see that. Part. It's like you don't watch any of my videos. You get an idea of the size. There you go. Yeah, they're teeny. <sighs> Maybe not right, the exact other. details of the biscuit design. Block up my face. There's there's definitely similar things in the UK. Like what? I don't know the name to be honest. <laughs> um, bullshit. No, is it like there's like a Cadbury? It's like a Freddo without chocolate. I don't know, but no, I don't. I think it's closer to ice gems, the biscuit of the ice yeah, gem, but maybe like an ice gem without the sugar. Yeah, because if you have the biscuit on its own, it's not sweet at all. Well, it's just kind of like a bit plain biscuit. <laughs> just plain biscuit. Um, can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it says honey. It does I say did, honey. I yeah. did not taste honey. I don't actually taste much of a honey um, smell honey it. tone smell there. Like honey. Not to me. Mm, it smells of something, but I would not say, oh, that's honey. But it doesn't really smell like biscuit. It I'm sure there's like... honey in there, but yeah, it's, it's just a biscuit, really. Yeah. I will give it a five due to the lack of um, any special icing or flavour, but I'll turn the... Uh, find that nice to eat yeah five seems fair like i feel like any low would be too harsh because it's not yeah, terrible be, or anything it's just, it's just a plain biscuit shaped like a teddy is cute it would be better if it was sweeter like just a little bit sweeter i'm looking up malt biscuits see you over the next one as well okay oh it's just called malted biscuits malted right. milk right malted milk yeah milk there you go malted milk of course which i find a little boring in the biscuit arena but yeah it's like that yeah like when you get like those big assorted biscuit boxes or tins and that this would like always be the last one that we've reached for in my house because we're all chocolate sugar addicts frogs alive alan's frogs alive uh something that's not arnott's this old so, camper should have just been called arnott's at this point obviously little gummy sweets um so yeah, you want to open it? Did you hold you it? I want to show it in better detail. I want, I'm thinking it's going to taste like, you know, the giant strawberries from Haribo. No, I told you I'm the worst person to open stuff. It's like I make sure I take off all packaging before I do my makeup videos because I just struggle to. Smart, okay. Thanks. Yeah, just looks like a little froggy doing a spoot. It's not that sweet. Not super sweet. Mainly reason it is glucose syrup, but it's not super sweet. That is interesting. Australia, do you not, not have sugar? I like that though. Just have a second one. Yeah. I bit it in half first. <laughs> is it, the recommended serving is um, three frogs, which is 20 grams. I, I quite like how chewy they are. Would you compare it to the strawberries as well? 
No, so those strawberries, um, there are two they're types. The yeah. ones you like are the vegan ones, really chewy. They're like waxy. And these are... They're a lot sweeter as well. Yeah, they're, they're Haribo, yeah. yeah. Th these are not like sour, um, not super sweet. So more like a normal gummy. You know, it says that it's not... Natural. I don't know. It says it's like um, no artificial colours. I was like, where's the colour? It's um, carminic acid. Isn't that the stuff that the common used to be made from like crushed beetles or something like back in the day? I don't know, probably. Because they used to use like carmine in makeup. Did I read this one? No, not yet. Anyway, yeah, eight if I didn't, I thought I did, but yeah. Eight? Yeah, 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 it's nice. Eight? Yeah, I made that statement. Eight! Wow. So you're going way lower, obviously. What are you doing? Not sweet enough for Becky. Yeah, basically. Wait for the train. I'd give it a five. There's no point eating sweets if it's not sweet. Like, what is this nonsense? Uh, another thing we're not going to eat right now um, is just wheat, wheat a bix. Well, they call it wheat bix. We call it wheat a bix here. Get my face out of the way. There you go. So it's just cereal. <laughs> you just have it with milk. <laughs> It's got a health star rating of five at the bottom, Kizzy. Doing great, doing great. So healthy. Uh, that See, that actor was better than your attempt at the American one a few minutes ago. Levels. Mm. It's just whole grain wheat, 97%. Raw sugar, a bit of salt, barley malt extract, vitamins, and that's it. Contained cereal containing gluten. They don't just say it contains gluten, it contains cereal that contains gluten. Exception. Gluten. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This also came with a little koala. Uh, I'm going to name her Kristen. Yay, Kristen! Um, just says, quality souvenir since 1996, Australia. It's got the washing stuff. Funny enough, it's made in China. <gasps> Not in Australia? What? Mortal enemies of Australia at the moment. Don't go there. <laughs> I, thought, I didn't realise you said mortal for a second. I was like wondering what you were on about and I just clicked. Okay. And uh, for some reason they put in Saxa seasoned chicken salt. Sounds good to me. So I guess it's just salt for chicken. There you go. 100 grams so that'll be handy when Tom is cooking because I don't cook. Yeah, so you got chicken flavour. That could go on, not just chicken. I'm sure that could go on lots of things and have a nice chicken flavour added. I would have put it that side because this is kind of getting full. Next one. Oh yeah, sorry, you were trying to do that, didn't you? Cobb's Natural Popcorn. Close lightly up. salted, slightly salted. I know you're more of a sweet popcorn person. I know, this whole box is making me so sad I'm going to jump out the window. Not literally, that's just a weird joke that Tom and I have. Grateful. Hmm? Very grateful. I know! I don't mind oh, lightly no, no. salted popcorn. I just don't like things in general that are too salty. But weirdly, I like ready salted crisps. Perfectly good. Lightly salted popcorn, and it is only lightly. I like salty 9. stuff. 9.5 out of 10. For that? Yeah. Because it's not just a salty popcorn. Yeah. It's lightly salty, it's not too salty. Is so that a, like... a normal rating, or a, you've taken into account your low expectations rating? <laughs> 7 out of 10 for me. Ooh, only 7. Is it yeah, it's not salty? It, it's... No, I don't want more salt, but I prefer the sweeter myself, actually. Or a sweet and salty, but just the savoury popcorn. I was going to say, popcorn, since not, when? Well, forever. You've never seen me buy the salted, uh, the only salted, but... Yeah, I guess I don't think I have. So nine and a half from Becky. Yeah, yeah because all the other stuff is such a low rating, I'm going to give this a nine and a half. I feel like I'm being too mean. System, there you go. 
We'll add them all together, maybe. This, I mean, everything you know about me, this shouldn't be surprising, this rating system. Do not open another one? Yes. So we'll go I down here. I just open it. Wow. Anzac biscuits. City Yaks Anzac biscuits. There was something else as well. I was like, do you notice that they just kind of... There was something else. Was it the eucalyptus? It was like kind of rhyming or something. Uh, the really eucalyptus really have made really Aussie. That reminds me of the silicone. We've basically got this out. cookie here. Take it all out. Just hold it up. Looks pretty nice. Do you know what it looks like? Do you know the biscuit for children, Farley's Rusk, when they're teething? That's what it looks like to me. Wait, show me, show me the front. I can't see. Oh, okay. Yeah, it kind of looks like a Farley's Rusk. All right, that's a bit crumbly, so do you want to just take that and... Seems quite oaty. It's just Very a good sweet. oat biscuit, but sweet. Syrupy. I feel bad yeah, that all the crumbs are going. Well, at least they're going back in. Over. At least they're going back in a box, though, not on the floor. I'll hoover them up. With your mouth. Yeah. Oh, it says caster sugar is the first ingredient. Something called nuttalex. Nuttalex. Sorry, margarine. And then bracket sunflower oil, canola oil, vegetable oils, water, salt, emulsifiers, blah, blah, blah. In case you want the full ingredient list. No, I think it's saying like that stuff is what's in the Nutlex margarine. So the, that's what makes it Nutlex, I guess, because it's sunflower oil, canola oil, and vegetable. This is actually really nice. I thought I could taste coconut. I was thinking it says coconut. Yeah, there's coconut there. So you've got and syrup, syrup coconut. coconut. Golden syrup as well. Puffed rice. Sodium bicarbonate, water, maize, besan flour, rice flour, vitamin A. So I'm not sure there's even like oats in there, but it tasted oaty. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely like that. I'm giving that 8 out of 10. I think the rice flour makes it taste kind of coconut, um, oaty. I think it yeah, might be good rice flour. Freedom. Yeah, I gave that eight. Oh, good eight. Ten out of ten. It's nice. It's sweet. I like coconut, and I had really low expectations. <laughs> really low. Really turned around with the ratings. Excellent. <laughs> it's because I'm kind of a fussy eater, so I'm not surprised. So another that we're not going to consume right now, but we'll mention is the Nestle Milo. Milo. Or Milo. For a guy's name is Milo, for food, it's Milo. Which is a drink, um, bar malt barley extract, Milo. I guess. So that's like, uh, we've it's got... chocolate. Yeah. It's hot chocolate, basically. When we were in Ghana in 97, my family and I, I had this for the first time. I'm sure actually we pronounced it Milo too, actually. Um, Great yeah. hot or cold, Avengers. I've never not had it hot, I don't think. I don't think we ever had it like cold. like a milkshake? No. I think we only ever had it as Mystery. hot chocolate. I think that's what we thought it was. Or maybe, I don't know. But it mentions malt barley extract as the main ingredient, so... Yes, yeah, another malt thing we like. It doesn't have the um, health rating on this one. You can get... Yeah, Milo in this country as well. I've definitely seen it. Um, it seems to be in the shops that's like kind of like the black neighbourhood, like Easton. That's the worst. I don't. I might have seen it in Tesco in Broadmead. But Isn't it like Ovaltine? I guess maybe you could compare it to Ovaltine or Horlicks. I haven't actually had this for so long as well. Um, but you liked it. Yeah, I loved this as a kid. Um, I don't see why I wouldn't still love it as well. So, rating to be determined. <laughs> I mean, if, I, I probably will wait until I can have a hot chocolate. So I'm not going to have it till like winter or autumn. So the long game. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Oh yeah, Weetabix. Yeah, I don't like Weetabix because it's just plain boring, and I have the taste buds of a twelve-year-old boy. So 
Next. We know this one. Tim Tams. Arnott's. Boom. Yeah, we've Looks heard, like a club biscuit. We've really. heard of Tim Tams, but not eaten Tim Tams before. I've certainly heard of these. Yeah, the rest of this stuff I've never heard of except for the crunchy, obviously, and the Milo. That is a, like a fat chocolate, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. It's quite... <laughs> we have the same idea. Ah, fight! Godzilla fight. Um, yeah, it's quite a chunky chocolate biscuit. weird but I think I can smell the popcorn I think it's like clashing with this does it have the rating on it the health, rating? health rating minimal <laughs> very low rating but I don't see one that's just like a, a chocolate uh, it's there no, it's like a penguin oh there it is yeah 0 0.5 out of 5 I was thinking it'd be weird because this is our nuts and it has the health rating it'd be weird if that one didn't yeah, I think it's... Is it penguin or... No, it's um, club or penguin. They're the Pe same. Club and penguins are basically the same food. Anyway, it's chocolate throughout. It's a nice little biscuit. Do you know what, though? Have you looked, there's like a little bit of like soft something inside. The middle layer? Yeah. But it's not just the biscuit. There's like marshmallow. Not marshmallow, like brownie. Exactly like the club or whatever, the uh, UK one. I think. Really? Yes. I haven't had that for so long that I don't remember either. It's been a long time, but it, I think it's the same product. It's a nice, okay, then nice it's product. not Penguin, because Penguin doesn't have any soft stuff in the middle. Penguin, I'm sure, is just biscuit and chocolate. This has got like some sort of brownie type so, yeah, thing in the I middle. Mean, go by the description quickly. Might be upside down. Bear with. Okay, I don't see one, but everyone knows what Tim Tam is, so it's redundant to the... No, not every, everyone doesn't know. Everyone in Australia. Yeah, and how many people... Chocolate coating, it? chocolate biscuit, and kind of a almost fondant centre. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I was not expecting something soft in the middle. That kind of threw me. Like, I'm really surprised. <laughs> Absolutely bamboozled. Can you push it in? So is that good or bad? No, I can't push it in. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? I guess it's okay. It's not great. A lukewarm reception. It's like 6 out of 10. I don't know, maybe... There's like too many flavours in my mouth. So I guess <laughs> Coke Zero is not really like neutralising it or anything. You're feeling a bit full now? I wasn't hungry to begin with. So. Maybe less hungry now, but. Probably less hungry than I was earlier, but yeah. I'm but, very hungry. Sorry. Um, we okay. can finish that if you want. <laughs> oh, when we finish. Alright, over the next thing. Is that something you can just eat on its own? It's not something that needs to eat. It's like, like a crisp. This is, yeah, you oh. can eat this. It's like a crisp. So this is Arnott's Shapes. This looks great. Shapes Originals Pizza. My kind of snack. Oven baked, not fried. Before you eat it, what do you think it's going to taste like? Yeah, like a bit smarter -y, um, like crisp. No, I mean, what do you compare it to? Get your head out of the shop. You get... There you go. Supermarkets sell a lot of things like this, like little... Uh, like kind of posh crisps. You think it's going to taste like posh crisps? What's well, like a cracker though. Mmm. Very crunchy. You know what? Because my appetite is so low, I wonder if that's affecting my ability to enjoy the flavours. I expect it is. Because like, even when I eat other food that I know I like, I'm not, I don't like, I'm not like, oh my god, this is so good, like, before, no, it's a bit more subdued. Hungry. So I think, take my ratings with a pinch of salt, it doesn't necessarily mean stuff isn't good, it's just, yeah. 
it's not bad at all. It's kind of kind of weird because it's just not something like anything I've ever eaten. I think it's great. They, it's not a completely new thing. There's things like this in the supermarket, like maybe like Waitrose little little snack, kind of like uh, Italian flavor pizza flavor things. Mm. I, I'm gonna give that a nine. I think that's really nice. You know, I can't think off the top of my head what it's like. Like I'm not eating this and like, oh, this is like da da da. There's a lot of American like pretzel pieces things. They're quite similar. So this is yeah, is very it similar good. to pretzels. Pretzel pieces, not actual pretzels, but some of the pretzel piece products, they're even half piece of layer ones. Pretty similar. Two health star, rating two stars on the health star. Not even two star out of five. At this point. It's not that unhealthy compared to the chocolate stuff. Look at that. You know, I think I'd have enjoyed the Tim Tam more if it tastes like English chocolate. Like the chocolate we get here is like obviously a completely different taste. Elitist. When it comes to chocolate, yeah. Come. Ready? Part of me is like, ugh, I don't want to eat anymore. You don't have to. Like, I am aware of this one. I've had this one before. I've the seen imports. this before, but I've never had it. The Cherry Ripe Bar. Yum, yum. Get your face out. Bring it up a little. <laughs> you got that. You got that. Yeah, I think you didn't have to move to the side. You just have to move it up. There's a Cadbury Bar. Is it Cadbury, this one? Yes. That's probably going to be good then. Look at that. Super uh, clear. Have a bite. If you had to compare cherry and coconut flavor. If you had to compare to some, coconut. If I had to really? compare it to something else, there's nothing else like it. There you In go. old gold, rich dark chocolate. I will say, if I had to, it's like a bounty with cherry tones. Do you know what it smells like? You know, like when you have stuff like Quality Street and it's got like the chocolate and strawberry delight thing. Mm -hmm. That's what it smells like. It's kind of like a weird, if they added like cherry to a bounty. Yeah, yeah, like I said, yeah. That's the closest we can we can come up with. But I have had these before, I, I like them. That is real weird. But it's not bad. It's a dark chocolate, it's, it seems kind yeah, of yeah. dark, yeah. Which suits the uh, it's cherry. It's dark chocolate, 22%, coconut 22%, and glazed cherries, 15%. Yeah, I mean, the coconut is very strong in the bar, so if you hate bounties, you're probably not going to like this. Yeah, if you don't like coconut, you won't like oh, it. I like bounties, uh, and I prefer these even with the cherry edition. So it's a 7 out of 10. That's controversial. Which bit? You prefer this to bounty. Yeah, I mean, most people seem to hate bounties. I don't hate bounties, but they're yeah, not Yeah, but the they're not bad. Um, Sorry, audience. I expect better from you. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. You eat basically anything. Um, it's really weird. I've never had this before. I've, I'm sure I've seen this in shops, but I've never thought to have B &M. it. B&M. Probably, yeah. But we must have had it, like, before. Like, I'm sure I've seen it, like, when I was a kid as well, like, in my teens. I don't remember it as a kid. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what I remember. That's the problem. Everything is a mishmash up in there. Um, what did you, did you rate it? I think I gave it a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven, but I think like when I am like brush my teeth and I don't have the taste of everything in it, if I have some later, check the description box. If my opinion changes, I'll write it in there. Um, but for now, yeah, I'm gonna give it a tentative six. What did I say? Did I say six or did I say seven? No, I said seven, didn't I? I don't know. It's what? going on well. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Rate it now and maybe forget what Alright, let's just say, say you did. let's just say it's a, a six point five out of ten. Not allowing halves, but I will allow that this time. Excuse me, this is my channel. Overall. It's my decision, you're overruled. Six and a half, you done? Yeah. Good product. Weird product. But not necessarily a, not a bad weird. It depends on your opinion on cherries and your opinion on dark chocolate and your opinion on coconut. I'm not a huge dark chocolate fan. So, yeah. so we've got a bunch of these. These are little Alan's sweets. Minties. So you can guess what that is. We can't see that very well. But they're not good at this. You hold it like that. Focus. There you go. 
So it's just like mint sweets and little wrappers. It's moments like these you need, dot, dot, dot. Alan's mini tees. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I just had to sing that. So these are where the paper really sticks to the thing. And you got a nice chewy sweet inside. Reminds you of blackjacks, fruit salads, the chewy little sweets. Yeah, it's chewy, not... I would have thought this was going to be hard, like, you know, the mint glaciers. That's what I chewy was mints. pitching for some reason. I said that's what I was pitching instead of picturing. I do like chewy sweets like this. It gets stuck in your teeth, though. I don't. I'm an old man. I don't like hard stuff. Your false teeth come out in one go. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a six. Um, yeah, I'm not the biggest mint guy on their own. But yeah, chewy, chewy mint is kind of cool. I'm sure we have something like this. Like a soft, chewy mint. Mm. I know, like, maybe soft mints to... are kind of like they've got a hard exterior, but like the inside of that, maybe. Well, yeah, I don't maybe think we quite have of... a similar product. Maybe that's what I was thinking of, soft mints. Yeah, um... I guess I'll give it a 6 out of 10 because it's just a mint. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, and I struggle with like chewy stuff because it just, I have holes, gaps between my teeth where I had teeth removed as a kid. And I, I did have braces, but they never fully closed it. And after four years, I was, I was like, they're like, you can keep it on and try to close the gaps fully or we can take the braces off now. And obviously I wanted them off because I had a rough time with braces. <laughs> And then last but not least, we have these, some more sweets. <sighs> I don't know what this is here. It's hard to read this, but on the edge you've got these. Fan, there. fan tools? Oh, Take fan one. tails. Fan tails, okay. Yes, fan tails. They oh, and then it's got like trivia. Trivia, yep. So that looks like chocolate, probably chewy. Square? This is hard. Pretty hard. Yeah, you can struggle with that. So mine says, who am I? Born in Washington, DC, to an American father and a German opera singer mother. As a teenager, she moved to New York for a career on the stage. She gained TV and feature roles. You'll get this from the films, I think. So a woman. You might know half German, half American. She was in Demolition Man, Speed. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Yeah, Sandra Bullock. Great actress. But it says as well, she began earning the critics' favour beginning with the acclaimed Crash in 2004. So she didn't get acclaim until like 10 years after Demolition Man and, um, what's it called it? Crash. Um, wait, it was speed. Demolition, Demolition, yeah, I meant Speed. Is Demolition Man, is that the one with the shells? Three seashells? Yeah, that's what You don't is. know what the three seashells are? I, I just forget. Do you know what, yeah, someone just <laughs> posted this to me literally the other night and I forgot again. Yeah, it's got just a like, bit more trivia, like how much money she earned from the global smash hit Gravity. I think I saw that one. She's in the Guinness Book of World Records when this was printed as the highest paid actress in the world. I don't think she's the highest at the moment. Deserves it. I'll put that in who it is if you care. If not, just ignore it. Oh, look, that's annoying. There's nothing on the end. It's like missing. But you might still get who it is. I don't know if you know. Yeah, you'll get this. All right. Born yeah. July 3rd, 1962. The surname Mapotha the fourth. No idea. He took his first and middle names as an actor. His leading role was Risky Business and became a megastar after Top Gun. Tom Cruise? Yes. Did you know that his name was Mapotha? Absolutely not. I did. I probably told you, but I don't think you paid Watch it. Top Gun Maverick. Amazing. It's so better this than, will really... It's better than the first Top Gun mm. film. The first one sucked. It is better than the first one, but I like the first Gun, one. Gun, what did you say? This, uh, not exactly going to stretch your knowledge, but here we go. What movie am I? Based on the seven fantasy novels by British writer J.K. Rowling. Oh, Harry Potter. <laughs> yes, the Harry Potter series. That was so, easy. Excellent job with that difficult question there. 
Because I know that I think there's like seven films as well, no, or there might be eight. And I think there's eight films, but seven books, because I think the last one was split or something. It says seven films here. Um, yeah, oh, I was it seven films? Yes. It's because I saw a meme the other day, and I'm sure it mentioned eight, but anyway, go on. Ready for another? Mm -hmm. What movie am I? Directed by Peter Jackson. Lord of the Rings. Yes. <laughs> is that it? No, well, and filmed in its home country of New Zealand, this trilogy is based on. Oh, so yeah, it's Lord of the Rings. Cool. And then it cuts off, but yeah. You it don't need to know Peter Jackson. Could have been The Hobbit. I suppose so. I'm so good at film trivia. Um, you're not going to eat this too chewy? So I like these chocolate with a chewy kind of like. You know what I'm like? Am I going to really ha struggle? Hard caramel. Is it like a Claire hard? If you manage that, it's not far off. Alright. Maybe a little harder than the mints. You might have said death warrant. These are similar to oh, the Cabri Eclair in the UK. The Cabri Eclair is a bit harder, I think you'll agree. Mm, but the, these are chewy, so really nice. I, I give it a nine. I, that's my kind of my kind of confectionery. You like chew stuff. I like when he has chew stuff because he doesn't talk as much. Effective. Mums out there will know. That's what you do. You give your kids chewy stuff to stop them talking. Um, I say a nine is fair because it's not. It's chewy, but I'm not struggling. And that's definitely everything. So, thank you for joining us. I'll be back soon with a video on chronic pain. Um. But not fibromyalgia. Tune in if you want to see which one I'm talking about. Bye for now. Thanks, Kristen. You're not going to say bye? Bye.